What's going on, YouTube family? How you doing? It's your boy, Keyshawn Scott. And today I want to talk to you about when a man doesn't want a relationship with you. Ladies, this is for you. When a man does not want a relationship with you, he will do these four things. And I'm going to get into these four things shortly. But what I need you to do is I need you to like, subscribe. And if this video is for you, a friend, a family member, or whoever, I would like you to share it. All right? So if a man doesn't want a relationship with you, he will do these four things. Let's go. You see, a man who doesn't want a relationship with you is going to limit his emotional availability, which means he's not going to open up. He's not going to be available. He's not going to talk. He's not going to have these deep conversations so you can know the deeper parts of him. So you have to understand that a man who really doesn't want to get that close to you, right, is going to be a lot of, is going to be hesitant when it comes to sharing information, personal things about his life. You might say things like, well, well, why you act like this or why you say this or why you, you know, you behave like this. And he's not going to open up and give you any information about that. He's not emotionally available at all. And he's going to avoid any deep emotional connection. He, he's going to avoid all these deep connections about feelings and how you feel and letting it all out and being sensitive. And I need, I need you to be emotional, emotionally available with me. And that's how, you know, I know I like you like me or you care about me. A man who is limiting his emotional availability to you is not going to express those things. He's not going to express his needs. He's not going to express his um his personal experiences with you. He's not going to go that deep. At least at first. At least at first, can this some can this be developed? Can he develop these these traits or you know be emotionally available? Of course, but it takes time. Not your time, but his time. But what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to wait around, you know, trying to beat a dead horse and stay with someone who's not going to be emotionally available um, to you. Because if your goal is to be married, you know, is to build a strong connection, um, a man who is not really emotionally available to you at all, you're going to have a hard time with connecting um, with him. So number two, inconsistent effort. Inconsist I, I don't like inconsistency in a relationship. Inconsistency sucks. We want someone, we want a partner who is consistent, who's consistent with their words, who's consistent with their actions, who's consistent with, be, with their behavior, but also making improvements and growing as well, right? So a man who's not right for you, who you know their relationship is not going to work, he doesn't want you, he's inconsistent. He is inconsistent. He's inconsistent in his efforts. He's not consistent at all. He's not genuine. And these are the things that you have to learn how to stay away from. If it's not consistent, then it's all over the place. You want a consistent, stable relationship. You want someone who's going to pursue you, someone who's going to make plans, someone who's not going to flop, someone who cares about you, who loves you, who, who wants to grow with you, who wants to build with you. And those things take consistency. We don't know no rich person or wealthy person in this world who got to where they are being inconsistent. We don't know any successful relationship that's going to grow and be happy and get married and have children and be inconsistent. It, it doesn't work like that. You need consistent structure in a relationship, in life, period, in order to grow. Because a man who's inconsistent, he goes through different different trials and tribulations in life, right? For example, he might go through some withdrawals. Then again, he might go through some disinterest in you, right? He might not like you. He might, or he, it's off and on, right? And when someone is inconsistent, it also causes off and on relationships. We too grown for that. We are too old for these on and off relationships. It's either we are or we aren't. Of course, couples argue, we fight, there's room for improvement. But I shouldn't be away from you for six months, right? And then back to you in another two months and off again for a year and we'll be back together. How do you explain a mature, consistent relationship? We're off and on. We're not talking right now. We're, we're grown, folks, right? There's no, we're not talking right now. It's either we broken up, we're not together, and I can find happiness elsewhere, or we're going to make this work and we're going to be consistent and we're going to grow. Because we know that life is going to throw a lot of obstacles our way. So we want this consistent love, right? We want this consistent love. And we want someone who's going to fight for me, fight for a relationship, and just fight to stay together. Number three, number three, he's not introducing you to his friends and his family. 
Now, let me tell you this. When I met my wife, I was introducing my wife to my friends, my family, my dog, my cat, my, my, my turtle. I wanted, I liked her so much. I cared about her so much. She was so beautiful. She still is. But at that moment, she was the most beautiful thing in the world. And I wanted to show her off to everyone, right? I would share her profile. I'm like, hey, check out her, her profile on Instagram. Check out her profile on Facebook. Um, I was excited that she was my wife. I was excited to show her off. Right. So when a man doesn't want to show you off to his friends and family, that's a red flag. That's a huge red flag. Right. Because he has to show you off because he just won a prize. He just won a prize. He feels as if he's the luckiest man in the world and he wants to share this experience with the people around him. So when a man doesn't show you to his friends and his family, it can it can turn out to be um, he doesn't see a future with you. He doesn't see a future or he's not he's not sure of a future with you as yet. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it takes time. It takes time to meet people's family and friends, depending on your background, your family, you know, wh whatever goes on in your family. But if it takes too long and he's not introducing you, you don't know no friends, you don't know no family members, you don't know no mama, no papa, you don't know his brothers, his sisters, you don't, you don't know where he work at, his coworkers. He's always saying he's going out and you don't know these people. That's a red flag. That's a huge red flag because someone who's genuinely interested in you and cares about you, I'm, I'm telling you this now from a man's perspective, he is going to show you all. He's going to tell his best friend because his best friend is going to say, hey, girl, he always talks about you. He's always saying how you're beautiful, how he can't wait to see you. A man who is really connected, he's building that connection with the woman is going to be happy to show you off. I promise you that because he won the prize. He feels as if he, he got it. He found the right one. And he's going to protect that at all costs through his behavior, through um, his um, actions, and also being consistent. And number four, no time and energy. He doesn't give you no time and he puts in no energy into the relationship or building this, this experience or connection with you. You see, nobody's too busy to spend time with someone they're trying to build with. Everyone's busy. We all got lives. We all have jobs, children, businesses, entrepreneurship, and all and a bunch of nonsense and successful things that's going on in our life, right? But we make time to cultivate these relationships with people. And a man who's truly interested in you is going to take time and the energy to build this with you because he knows that he, he that he knows that time is of the essence. He knows that if I put my energy into this, into this beautiful queen, into this woman right here, I can build something magical, something beautiful, something that, and, and you, you know that God has something for you when you start balancing out your time to spend time with someone, you know, that they mean something to you. When you start adjusting your schedule, you start leaving work a little bit early, right? Or, you know, you, you stop doing one thing and you try to say, you know what? I could do that next week. Let me go spend time with with her. Let me go ask her if she want to go on a date. Let me look up some restaurants. Let me ask her what type of food she likes. You see, a man who's really interested in you is going to ask you so much questions because he's building a portfolio so he can take you out to dinner. You even have to ask him, this is a restaurant. You said you like, um, you said you like this kind of food. I know that you're allergic to seafood. I said the most romantic thing, thing, thing ever, the, mo the most romantic thing ever is, um, you know, what's so crazy just now when I was talking, I said Ting, and I'm from Trinidad, so I felt my accent coming out, and I'm like, Keyshawn, should you keep going? And you know what? I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to leave this in the video because I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, and I'm going to leave it in there. But a man who's really interested in you is really going to be consistent with his time and his energy. He's going to know that if I put my energy and my time into her, something amazing is going to happen. I'm not going to waste her time and I'm not going to waste my time. And a man who's mature enough to build a connection with you is not a, a time waster. He doesn't waste time and he doesn't put his energy in something that he doesn't really care about, right? Or he doesn't want to build. So a man who's not right for you and a man who really doesn't want you, right? He puts his energy into himself, into his friends, into his money, into his job. But someone who really cares about you, who really wants to invest in you, who really sees purpose in you and in the relationship, he's going to put his time and energy into you because he knows that this is going to build something beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video. Let's get to a million subscribers, a lot of subscribers. Um, drop some comments and let me know what are some things that I've missed or you would like to see on this channel. All right. Have a good day. I love you. Peace.